Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about carry on skincare. Now you may be like me and you're just dreaming of the day that you get to travel again, or maybe you're living a little bit vicariously through others who are lucky enough to have already done it. That's definitely me. I am holding out hope that 2022 is my year to travel again, but whatever camp you're in, I think it's always good to know all of those good tips and tricks for packing all your skincare products for travel because it's a little bit daunting, is it not? You wanna make sure that you're not taking too much, right? That's definitely me. I don't wanna take too much with me on my trip, but I also wanna make sure that I am prepared for any skin situation that might pop up. So I've definitely developed lots of tips and tricks and things that I have just tried and tested throughout the years that work well for me as a skincare addict who likes to travel, light. So I'm going to be sharing some of my tips with you guys today. And this video is sponsored by Stylevana, which you know the place to be if you want some K-beauty, J-beauty skincare and makeup products. All the products that I'm going to talk about in today's video, you can find at Stylevana. I also have a discount code if you want to do a little bit of a haul. Um, and all that information is going to be in the info box below. So without further ado, let's get into all of my tips and tricks for carry on on skincare. So one of the trickiest things about carry on anything is that liquids bag. It is so tough to get every liquid that you need into that tiny little bag. It's really frustrating and it becomes even more frustrating when you are trying to carry on multiple skincare products. So my number one tip for you guys packing your skincare is to reduce your liquids wherever possible. Not only is this going to take the stress off of that little Ziploc bag that you're packing, but it's also going to be a little bit easier to travel with because less spills and leaks to deal with. So look at your skincare routine and identify where you can turn a liquid into some type of solid or non-liquid texture. Now, one of the easiest switches I make in my skincare routine when I travel is to switch out my cleansing oil, that first cleanser, for a cleansing balm. Really easy switch here. You know, not only are you reducing oil, but you're reducing the potential for a mess because cleansing oils really like to leak, especially on airplanes but I've had it happen even on car trips so um, definitely just like a mess free solution now my cleansing balm of choice which you may have noticed I don't really love cleansing balms I don't really prefer them I'm a cleansing oil girl so um, when I have to switch over it's like what am I gonna go for the one cleansing balm that I really deeply enjoy is still the vanilla clean at zero nourishing edition now before we go any further I'm going to be very bluntly honest with you guys. This product does contain artificial fragrance. I say that because I usually review products that don't contain fragrances at all, right? I usually do avoid them in my skincare products. I can confidently tell you the vanilla does not irritate my skin. It never has. The reason why I like it is really, it comes down to the texture. This feels so good on my skin. It doesn't feel waxy or thick. And that's one of the reasons why I don't really prefer cleansing balms. This just really sidesteps a lot of those things that I don't like. It's really elegant and silky. It melts down from a balm into a silky oil on my skin almost immediately and it washes away cleanly. Effectively breaks down makeup and sunscreen and just washes away without any residue on my skin absolutely love it. Another big reason why I particularly like the nourishing or the yellow version over the other options is because the fragrance on here is actually very light. It's almost imperceptible to me. I, it's not like a heavy floral scent or anything. It really doesn't smell like anything to me at all. And that's a big reason why I prefer unscented products. I don't like heavy smells. This doesn't have that at all. So for me, it just really kind of checks all the boxes when it comes to cleansing oils. And I would not hesitate to travel with this product anytime in the future. So I love that I discovered this mini kit on Stylevana. So you can try all the different variations of the Clean It Zero um, family. And I love that these are so tiny. This is really, really great for travel because it saves space. I like to just take one bag with me. And so, you know, saving space, smaller products are really ideal for me. So these are perfect. One of these lasts just about a week, 
uh, maybe a little bit more. So if you're going on a longer trip, you might want to grab a couple of these. Now, another way to reduce your liquids in your cleansing routine is to switch out that gel or foaming cleanser for a powder enzyme cleanser. There's lots of options in K-Beauty for powder cleansers. I've traveled with a few different ones in the past, but the one that I wanted to pick up this time around is the Cosrx Centella Cleansing Powder, particularly because this product is fragrance-free. The powder comes in one-time use capsules. Now, I normally would not recommend this type of cleanser because I do find this packaging to be pretty wasteful. Now, you may be like me and you maybe travel once a year, maybe not even that. It's kind of like a special event in your life. In that instance, I do think it's okay to use this type of product very, 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 very occasionally. This is going to save you a lot of space in your luggage. Again, not something you have to put in your liquids bag, something you can just take as many capsules as the days you're gonna be gone and just put them into a pocket or something. This is really easy, like space saving type of product. Now, the way you use this is you open up one of the capsules, dump the powder into your palm, and then just kind of drip a little bit of water Water, like some water droplets in and then just lather it up right away don't worry about the powder it's not gritty it's not like creating an exfoliating or rough effect on your skin it actually dissolves like immediately it's a very fine powder and it creates a very low foam cleanser this is a low pH and very gentle on the skin this does not leave your skin feeling stripped of moisture or squeaky clean at all but it does effectively clean the skin this feels really nice and refreshing on my skin and you know I'm pretty sensitive with cleansers and this actually felt really nice on my skin so this is a really great option for travel like I said I wouldn't recommend that you use this all the time but for travel this is a really good option one other area where I personally feel comfortable converting a liquid into a solid is sunscreen sun sticks are great because you don't have to put this in your liquids bag I really wish that sunscreens were not part of the liquid limitations but if you have a gel or cream formulation they definitely do need to be put in the bag it really sucks because they're medical necessities it's keeping you protected from skin cancer but unfortunately TSA doesn't see it that way. So if you do have that cream or gel type of consistency, it's gonna take up some space in your bag. And you definitely want to have sunscreen with you um, on your trip, because especially if you're gonna be taking a daytime flight, you can get a lot of UV exposure. You definitely might be wanting to reapply your sunscreen on the plane. And you just wanna hit the ground running when you land in your airport destination. You don't wanna like wait for your bags and then dig through it and find your sunscreen and then reapply in the back. You just want to go. You know what I mean? You just want to go. You want to get to where you're going faster. And so having sunscreen on you really helps you do that. Now, if you're doing a carry on, I actually would recommend buying sunscreen at your destination. I know that sounds kind of scary, but it's actually really fun. And I really like to explore the skincare offerings of different countries or even just different states that I am going to. So don't ever rule that out as a possibility if you're trying to travel a little bit light and trying to cut down on liquids, just buy sunscreen at your destination. It is available um, and it can be worth purchasing once you land rather than trying to figure out how to carry it with you on the plane and a sun stick can kind of close the gap in between you know leaving and arriving so this is the isn't tree hyaluronic airy sun stick this is spf 50 plus pa plus four it's a chemical sunscreen using five different filters it's a mixture of new generation and old generation filters i like the te texture of this particular sun stick because it's not really thick and waxy some can be this one really isn't for me it feels really nice uh, and as the name suggests airy and breathable on the skin without any type of white cast um, this feels really nice on my skin it works pretty well with makeup I also like this for reapplication especially if you're out and about and maybe you just don't have the ability to really wash your hands well this can just kind of get you a nice layer of reapplication without having to really touch your face so I think this is handy for traveling just in many senses it's a great Thing to have on hand reapplication on the plane no liquid it can just make your life easier another way to reduce liquids outside of just your skincare products switch your shampoo and conditioner into bar formats this is what i always do when i travel because it makes carry-on so much easier 
easier. You can even get your lotion, your moisturizer into a bar format. There's a lot of different options out there for you to explore, but really take on this tip. The more liquids that you can reduce, honestly, the easier your carry-on situation is gonna be. So my number two tip for carry-on skincare is mini size it. Like I said, there are only so many areas in your skincare where you can reduce liquids and where you can't is where you should go mini sized. Now you may wonder, should I decant my full size products into travel size containers or should I buy like the mini sizes, like the official mini sizes of the products? It depends. I've actually done both and you could go either way. There is an argument against decanting for certain types of products because it can actually make the formulas um, unstable, less efficacious, and it might even open them up to bacterial growth. So that's actually something that you do want to consider. Now, if you have a product like a moisturizer that's already like in a jar, you should have no problem decanting that into another jar type of, of packaging. But if you have a a serum and you're trying to decant that into like a jar type of packaging that's where it might get a little bit tricky because that hasn't been formulated to be exposed to so much air so you definitely if you are going to go down the decanting road definitely decant from like into like if it's a serum bottle put it into a serum bottle if it's a jar you can put it into a jar but when you start to kind of change up the packaging it, it can mess around with the formula. It might just be easier to seek out the mini size of the products and then you just sidestep that issue altogether. Which is why I picked out the mini sets from the Cosrx Sika line and the Cosrx Propolis line because you know I happen to be a major fan of both of these and these are just the right size for travel. So I really like the Sika line for almost all skin types. It's really light and hydrating, particularly good if you're on the more oily side, but I actually think this is great for a combination all the way to dry skin too. The toner is super, super hydrating and really calming to the skin. The serum definitely focus on redness reduction, calming and strengthening the skin. And they also have a, a Sika cream. Now this is kind of like a gel cream hybrid. This is gonna be the best type of moisturizer, I think for oily skin types or people who like really light moisturizers, this would be a good option. Option, this whole set would be perfect for traveling with because all of your options are covered. Now, if you like a little bit more moisture in your skincare routine without it being heavy, sticky, or greasy, the Propolis line is for you. The toner, it's got a little bit more body to it, a little bit more balance, really good for combination and dry skin. The serum is actually really nice for bringing some like light moisture into your skin. It's great for calming inflammation. It's good for acne. Me. Um, and the propolis cream is actually it is a little bit more moisturizing than the Sika cream, but it's still a little bit more on the medium light side. This is actually really nice for combination skin. And um, yeah, this could be a great option. All of your needs are met here. You can mix and match, but I mean, it's a really great way to get some great products in smaller sizes that are not going to overwhelm your liquids bag. Tip number three is do not forget the extras. These are the little things that can really enhance your carry on skincare game. And the first one that I want to talk about is sheet masks. Have I sheet masked on a plane before? Yes, I have. No shame. I have definitely sheet masked on airplanes and I absolutely love it. I don't know what it's like with COVID now, if that's something that, you know, you want to be doing, but I will tell you that having a sheet mask, whether it's on the airplane or just on vacation is incredibly helpful and really helps to supplement your skincare routine without what? overwhelming your liquids bag. That's right, the sheet masks do not have to go into your liquids bag. You can just put these in your carry-on or in your luggage and you are good to go. Sheet masks are so amazing. They can replace your serum stuff in your skincare routine or they can really supplement a skincare routine, really bringing lots of hydration into your skin. Now, a really great tip if you're going like on a very sunny, beachy type of vacation, sheet masks are excellent for after sun 
sun care. If you are in a hotel room with a little mini refrigerator, put your sheet masks in there, chill them, and then put that on your face after a day at the beach. You will thank me later. It's going to feel so good on your skin. So I picked out one of my favorite sheet masks. This is the Benton Goodbye Centella Mask Pack. And the reason why I would want to travel with these is a couple of reasons. As I mentioned before, when I travel, my skin does tend to get more dehydrated and more sensitive. This covers that concern beautifully. Super hydrating, really, really beautifully saturated sheet mask that really, really, really refreshes and replenishes my skin. We've got Centella water, Centella extract, and the four active compounds of Centella like Madacastaside in here. You know the soothing on this mask is unreal. It really calms down irritation. And like the name says, it actually does help a lot with redness. And another thing that it really helps with is breakouts. If you do, and it just always seems like it happens, right? Like your skin is perfect and then you go on vacation and you start to get a pimple. This actually does help to soothe the inflammation from pimples. I have legitimately used this when like a big angry pimple is like starting to emerge on my skin. I've used this at night and woken up the next morning and that pimple is like reduced almost half in size and it's on its way to healing. This is a gorgeous mask for breakouts, for inflammation, for redness, for sensitivity, for dehydration. You see why I picked this one for travel. It covers all of my bases in one sheet mask. I don't have to worry about lots of different varieties. There's no alcohol in here. There's no fragrance or essential oils sensitive skin friendly. I love it. I always have the sheet mask on hand at home and this is definitely the one that I would pack a nice big handful of in my luggage as well. Now I recommend traveling with a hand cream. I'm always a little bit dry especially on my hands um, so anytime I wash my hands I have to put on lotion. Even the times when I just put on um, hand sanitizer I have to put on lotion but I will say you might be a little bit more prone to dryness for airplane travel because that recycled air in the cabin can really dry your skin out pretty quickly. Even if you're not super prone to it, you might find yourself feeling a little extra dry. I have most definitely not had a hand cream with me and had to buy it when I was in Italy um, because my hands were getting so, so dry. So I definitely do recommend having some type of hand cream with you. This time I picked up the Illy Yoon Ceramide Unscented Hand Cream and I really like this one um, because it has everything that my skin needs when it's feeling dry, like ceramides. Um, that really helps to replenish my skin, keep it from feeling really dry and itchy. But the texture of this is really nice because it's not a type of lotion that takes a long time to absorb into the skin crucial when you're on the go, right? You don't want to have greasy paws. Um, it absorbs really nicely. It's not greasy. It's not sticky. It just absorbs and then you're good to go. So I really liked this one and it's a generous size so you can really get a good use out of it, but it's not so big that it's going to take up a large amount of space in your liquids bag. I'm also a really big fan of trying to combine lots of different concerns into one product, really trying to condense multiple products into one. So that's why I picked up the Roto Methylatum Water Lip Color Balm. This is SPF 20 PA plus two. Now I picked this up because I wanted to combine like a nourishing lip balm with a uh, lip color and some SPF for my lips. I wanted to do it all in just one product. I didn't want to have all these separate little lip products in my liquids bag, taking up precious space. Now I have to say this product really performed on the lip balm front. It was very cozy on my lips and it really performed with the SPF. You know, it wasn't like a super white casty chalky type of lip balm. I think that this was a really nice elegant lip SPF, but it kind of failed me in the color department. You know, I did pick like kind of a more pinky natural color. They do have darker ones. I wonder if those would have served me better, but I didn't really get any color payoff, which for me, I was really trying to replace a makeup product with this particular pick as well. And it kind of failed me on that front. I'll be honest with you. But if you are looking for a good lip balm that doesn't have a white cast, that doesn't feel chalky and provides some, you know, SPF for your lips, this is a great way to go. And really the spirit of this pick was trying to condense multiple products into one. And that is what something like this can do for you. So the next time you're packing your skincare for a trip, remember, reduce liquids wherever possible. This is going to reduce the strain on your liquids bag, but it's also 
also going to make for a mess free experience. Mini size it. This is great for getting lots of different products into that carry on liquid bag, but also saving some space and stress on your luggage. Don't forget that sheet masks are your best friend. Use them on the plane, use them in the hotel, use them for after sun care, use them for, you know, skincare step replacements. They're super duper handy for travel. And then don't forget the extras like hand cream and wherever possible, you know, try to condense multiple products into one, like the lip balm and SPF product that we talked about. I am dreaming about my next travel destination. I hope that adventure is just around the corner for me. And I want to know where are you dreaming of traveling next? Let me know in the comment box below. A big thank you again to Stylevana for sponsoring today's video. Everything we talked about is linked in the info box below for easy browsing and don't forget I have a discount code for you guys so you can use that on your next style Vana haul if the video helped you out please do consider hitting subscribe and turning on notifications I release lots of new skincare content throughout the week I hope you are healthy happy and safe wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to talk to you soon bye